I suppose, yeah, the start of the year was pretty slow. Probably coincided with the team's form, really, um, my year, but um, had to go back to the VFL for about only four or five games, and um, yeah, it turned out to be a blessing in disguise, really. Um, I was able to simplify the way I played, and um, I had some really good support from people in my corner. You know, yeah, Robert Harvey was a constant throughout it all. And then, yeah, Jake Batchelor and Damien Carroll at VFL level really helped me out and gave me a lot of confidence. And, um, and that, yeah, that form flowed through to the rest of the year once I broke back into the AFL team. Comes again, with the best off oh, from the side, Charlotte. The forces legs, the biggest spring. Just an arrow, straight through the middle, convincing. Puts it through. Yeah, I got some pretty clear feedback from Ross and, and Harves about what I needed to do, and um, a lot of it was around my contest game, um, both in the air and on the ground. Um, more so in the air, was just getting myself in more aerial contests. It is my strength, so I just had to bring that. And then on the ground, just improving that area of my game, um, just being much cleaner at ground level, so, yeah. Picked up here by Henry, ran a long way. High footy, Sharman! Um, yeah, without Max, I suppose we all just had to take a bit of the load and um, we were able to spread that really evenly. You know, Hammer came into the team and did a really good job of being a number one key forward and just creating a contest, getting the ball to ground and impacting like that. And then I suppose the rest of us, myself, Cheeto, Tim, even Mason came down as a tall forward. Um, and then our smalls in, like, yeah, Higo and Butsy, Darcy just really got to work. And um, But yeah, we just had a lot of fun and our connection really grew. And yeah, we just can't wait to get Maxi back out there. Yeah, I think getting games together as a unit, like, yeah, our forward line was pretty constant. Um, same eight blokes for most of that the last couple of months of the year and um, we can just build that connection and trust and you sort of you know what everyone's doing and where they're running to and yeah absolutely but we all love playing with Higo I think he's the gel of our group and um, yeah to keep the match winner um, on the weekend was just incredible um, yeah we all celebrated pretty hard with him once he kicked that that's how much he means to us and yeah we just love playing with him Higgins has kicked I reckon the Essendon game was probably our, our best game for the year. Um, yeah, they were, they were fighting for finals at the time, and um, so they had a lot to play for. Um, and yeah, that second half, it just all culminated. Um, yeah, the connection between yeah, all three lines was really good. Yeah, my form had been solid leading up to that game, but um, yeah, I suppose it was a culmination of a few weeks of some really positive football. and a lot of maybe close moments of a few drop marks and, and near goals, but um, yeah, I suppose a lot there yeah, just all come together that day, I suppose, and just to break away in that third term and really assert, I suppose, our dominance on the game. Um, yeah, we just had so much fun out there. Everyone was kicking goals, everyone was getting around it, so that was just a heap of fun, yeah. Yeah, that snap from the boundary was pretty nice. It was, yeah, Burnsy hit me laces out and yeah, luckily enough to go back and, I only kicked too many snaps, so that was very nice. Yeah, I put a lot of work in my goal kicking yeah, ever since I was probably 17, 18 and started to become more of a key forward. And um, Yeah, I love it. I love the ball in my hands and just feel really confident. Um, yeah, three and a half years, I think it's been. It. Yeah, those, those first few games that I played, yeah, seem, seem a lifetime ago. I think I've chalked up 49 games now, and yeah, it's just, yeah, it's crazy to think that. that yeah, four years ago, I was running around in the sample. Um, yeah, so it's been a great journey and yeah, can't wait to keep continue. Yeah, well, the back half of this year, we've really built a brand that's um, pretty recognisable. Um, yeah, we've built some foundations for next year and um, I think we all had high hopes after making the finals last year. And um, But yeah, our back half of the year was, was really good. We um, Yeah, we beat a lot of good sides. We beat Sydney, we were flying at the time. Um, we matched it with some really good sides. Um, but yeah, it's just so promising the future. We had such a young crew out there. Yeah, Hugo Garcia has been one that really stood out to me. He came on as the sub against Geelong last week and, and that last quarter was just phenomenal. He was like the Energizer Bunny out there, just chasing, tackling, just yeah, getting getting right in, uh, getting his hands dirty in the midfield there. Um, so him and, and obviously Darcy Wilson to play all 23 games in his first year was, is a great effort. Um, and yeah, the future is just so bright for those two boys. Yeah, we're just so excited to get cracking again for next year and, um, and really build from the back half of this year.